Why Attendance Matters. Every Student Succeeds Act, otherwise known as ESSA, ensures that there are advances in equity for all students, including disadvantaged and high need students, that all students have access to high academic standards, that there are statewide assessments that communicate the successes and needs of students to parents, educators, students, and communities evidence-based and researched interventions for reading, writing, math, and social-emotional learning, expanded access to high-quality preschool, accountability and action to affect change for low-performing schools. ESSA also provides a commitment to families that there will be a development of a state and school report card. On that report card, we will talk about student achievement, graduation rates, in and out of school suspensions, expulsions, school-related arrests, referrals to law enforcement, chronic absenteeism, incidences of violence, including bullying and harassment, and teacher qualifications. FCPS has a report card as it was outlined by the state of Maryland. And in our report, in our report card for Frederick County, we are evaluated on four areas. Indicator one is academic achievement, and there's 20 possible points. Academic progress, there's 35 possible points. Indicator three, progress in achieving English language proficiency, and there are 10 points. And then an indicator about school quality and student success, 35. Our report card can be found on www.reportcard.msde.maryland.gov. Overall, for the 21 20 to two school year, you can find that information archived on the website. This information is for the 22-23 school year. And it's a complete, it's a combination of academic and school quality indicators on our academic achievement, our academic progress, progress in achieving English language proficiency, and school quality and student success. How did our students perform on state tests? That's an indicator and a combination of percentage of students scoring proficient or higher on state assessments in math and English language arts and the average performance level of students on those state tests. And as you can see, academic measures and growth, we looked at students taking the state assessment on science, 48.9%. We looked at student growth percentile in mathematics, which was 48.5%, student growth percentile in English language arts, and we received credit for a well-rounded curriculum. I want you to see that those points are 20.4. It's related to student achievement. Attendance is important for student achievement. Our teachers teach in a way that they are diagnostic diagnosing and prescribing your child's needs on a daily basis. It is that highly skilled and that highly individualized that even missing one day can have an impact on your child's academic progress. When we look at our school quality and student success indicators, we got 20, we received 26.5% and we received 10 out of 15 points on students who were not chronically absent. On our student survey, we got a 6.6, .6, and our educator survey was a 6.6%. .6%. Access to a well-rounded curriculum was 99.2. We want to increase our points on our achievement and our growth. We also want to improve our score on school quality and student success. In order to do that, we need students to be in school. When students are in school, they achieve academically and make academic progress. Last year at this time, well, actually, by the time the year ended, we had 116 students who were considered chronically absent. Our rating was 16.3%, and we were 10th overall out of all schools for chronic absenteeism. I want to celebrate that this year we're at 7.7% right now, and we are receiving 13.5% points of of, of available points out of 15 for school quality. The other exciting part is 
there is a direct correlation between our achievement and improvement and progress for kids that is also improving. As you can see, I'm sharing a slide with you about the percentage of students in each student group and the success that they are making. How do we respond to this data? Frederick County Public Schools has five goals systemically, which are related to the organizational culture and achievement, operational excellence, safety and well being, stakeholder engagement, student and staff experience. Each school in the state of Maryland under Maryland law called COMAR has a school improvement plan. Staff come together and they create a plan after they've researched and evaluated best practices, data, key takeaways, and they make a plan for making improvements to student achievement, instruction, and attendance overall. Our goal one is related to key key performance indicator number four and our organizational culture of achievement goal one. We have said at Blue Heron that we're going to increase the percent of students in grades three through five scoring proficient and distinguished in each student group each year by three percentage points on the MCAP English language arts using a cohort model and our baseline group will be from 2021 to 2022. Goal two we're going to increase the percentage of students, grades three through five, scoring proficient and distinguished in each student group each year by six percentage points on MCAP math using a cohort model and the baseline from school year 21-22. We want 50%, 57% of our students demonstrating proficiency this spring on MCAP in math. Goal three is to increase the percentage of students not chronically absent in each student group by 5% or maintain 95% or above attendance rate from our baseline of 21-22 school year. That also falls under goal one and key performance indicator number six. Goal four, 10% of our students 10% more of our students in each student group will meet typical growth goals for the 23-24 school year on iReady Math and or English Language Arts than met last year. Goal five has to do with health and wellness, physical activity goal, a nutritional goal, promoting student wellness in our school, and goal four, we will promote staff wellness in our school as well. So when you ask why attendance matters, it matters for your child. It matters for them to be here so that we can give them what they need instructionally to be able to meet the standards set forth by them. I ask you to check out on the FCPS website, the regulation policies um, and the policy number 400-98. We appreciate you, we appreciate your kids, we appreciate how hard we're all working together. And that's where we go back to that celebration of we are holding in first place right now with the lowest rate of chronic absenteeism at 7.7% and earning 13 and a half out of 15 ESSA points. Way to go, Blue Hair and families. Each month we celebrate our attendance, we look at our attendance goals, we look at our students that are arriving late or leaving early as well. At the end of each day from 310 to 345, our teachers are reteaching and meeting with small groups. That is called our spark walk and that is to make sure that students have extension, enrichment, on grade opportunities and students that need additional support are receiving that so that staying all day is really important to us congratulations to these classes who have um, had the highest attendance in our school for this school year and then our overall attendance so as you can see we are going to meet our attendance goal of 95 percent or better as a whole school we want to thank you we are so excited for the work that we are doing and can't wait to see the final achievement for our kiddos at the end of the school year. 
We are here. We are available for you and always willing to meet and talking about the great things that are happening for kids at Blue Heron Elementary School. Thanks for being part of a fantastic journey with us.